In this video tutorial, I will talk about Aware IM deployment, answer some frequently asked questions, look at the Aware IM configuration options, and some common startup problems. First, I will talk about Aware IM deployment options and answer some frequently asked questions. We're being asked very often whether Aware IM applications can be deployed on the internet, in the cloud, on a local machine, or on a company intranet. The answer is yes. Aware IM applications can be deployed pretty much everywhere, on the internet or intranet, in the cloud, or on a local machine. The approach is the same everywhere. All you need to do is install Aware IM either on an internet host or on a company server or on a local machine. Then you run the Aware IM control panel. That's it. The only difference will be in the URL that the users will use to log into your application. On the internet or in the cloud, the users will use the name of the internet server. On the intranet, they will use the name of the network server. And on a local machine, they will use localhost. It is obvious how you install Aware IM on the local machine or on a company's server. You just run the installation program on the target machine. But how do you install it on a remote host in the cloud? Well, very much the same way. But you need to remember that not every remote host is suitable. You need a dedicated or a virtual server, but you cannot use a shared server where you do not have full access to the server itself. Most hosting companies nowadays provide the appropriate servers, though. You can easily rent a virtual or dedicated server from Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Rackspace, GoDaddy and many other hosting providers. When you do, you will be given an IP address of the server by your server provider and you will be able to connect to this server using some remote interface, for example, a remote desktop connection. Here, for example, I am running a remote desktop connection to such a server. As you can see, the remote user interface to the server is exactly the same as on your local machine. So you just install and run Aware IM in the same way as you would do on your local machine. Your users will log in using the IP address of your remote server, for example, this URL. You can then map this address to something more readable, if you like. So it is that simple. Another question we are being asked is whether anything else is needed to run Aware Eye applications across the Internet. For example, many people ask if they need the Apache server or Internet Information Server to run Aware IM. The answer is no, you do not need any other software. All you need is install and run Aware IM on your hosting server or on your company server that has a fixed IP address, and your applications will be available across the Internet all over the world. You can install Aware IM on any Windows system, on any Macintosh machine, or on any Linux server. You can use any database, MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, or the default Darby database that comes with Aware IM. It is also important to remember that Aware IM is not a code generator. It does not generate code for your application that you can then modify. You create an application using the Aware IM configuration tool and then you run the application using the Aware IM runtime environment. So there is no need for you to know any programming language. However, if you do want to make your hands dirty and perform some low-level programming, you can extend your application by adding plugins written in Java or JavaScript. Let's now look at some common problems that may occur when you start Aware IM. As you know, you start Aware IM by starting the Aware IM control panel. Aware IM consists of two components, Aware IM server and 
Tomcat. They are both started when you start the Aware I Am control panel. When each of them is started successfully, you see the OK message next to each component. And then Aware I Am displays OK in the status area here. So when you see this message and the OK message next to each component, everything is good and you can run the configuration tool or log into your application using a browser. Let's see what can go wrong. The most frequent problem is that some of the TCP IP ports that Aware I Am requires are used by other applications. Most frequently this happens with port 8080 used by Tomcat. Let's see what happens in this case. Here I have deliberately started another version of Tomcat that now uses port 8080. So if we start Aware I Am now, you can see that Tomcat wouldn't start. The processed finished message is displayed instead. If we select the View Tomcat output from the system menu to see more detailed diagnostics, we will see a number of exceptions. One of them complains about port 8080. This is an indication that port 8080 is used by some other application, in our case another version of Tomcat. So what can we do? Quite often the problem is caused by the fact that the previous version of Aware I Am is still running and the port is used by Aware I Am itself. Maybe Aware I Am wasn't shut down properly or you are already running Aware I Am as a service. To check this, shut down the Aware I Am control panel and look at the task manager for processes that start with Java or Java AW. If you have them, it is possible that these are some old Aware I Am processes and you can just kill them and start again. Be careful though, because these Java processes may be some other processes that have nothing to do with Aware I Am. You can also try rebooting if in doubt. In my case, it is definitely Aware I Am processes, so I can just kill them. It is also possible that the problem has nothing to do with the old version of Aware I Am being active, but there is some other application that is using this port. In this case, you have two options. Find the application that is using the port and shut it down, or get Aware I Am to use a different port. I will explain how to reconfigure Aware I Am to use a different port. So, if there is a problem related to port 8080, we can select the Settings General from the Application menu and change Tomcat to use a different port not used by other applications, for example 8085. However, we need to remember to also change the port in the standard URL used to log in to Aware I Am applications. So if we change the port to 8085, we should also change the login URL to the following. There are some other ports used by Tomcat that can cause port conflict problems. These are ports 8005 and 8009. If there is some other application using one of these ports, you will have an error message similar to the one you get for port 8080. These messages are for port 8005, for example. From this message, you will know which port is causing the problem. The strategy of addressing the problem is similar. If it is caused by another version of Aware I Am, kill this version and restart. 
or if it is used by some other application you can find that application and shut it down. However, if you want to reconfigure Aware IM to use a different port, you cannot do this from the Aware IM control panel. Instead, open the file Aware IM Tomcat Conf Server.xml. Search for port 8005. and replace it with some other number, then save the file. Note that on the Macintosh machines the location of this file is here. The port conflict problem can happen with the Aware IM server as well. The ports used by the Aware IM server are 9000 and 61,616. So if they are used by some other application you will have a very similar problem. The strategy for addressing the problem is the same. If you need to reconfigure Aware IM to use a different port, you can do it by selecting Settings General from the menu and changing the values here. Another class of common startup problems is problems related to database connectivity. This mostly applies to the SQL Server, MySQL and Oracle databases, but not the default Darby database that comes with Aware IM. Usually problems with the database connectivity boil down to the following. Incorrect database settings specified for Aware IM, such as database username or password, or the port where the database listens for requests. Incorrect configuration of the database itself. This mostly applies to the SQL Server database. Usually where there is a problem with the database connectivity you have an error message saying that Aware IM cannot create databases it requires. Let me show you. Here I have deliberately created an incorrect database configuration. If we start Aware IM, we will see this error message, unable to create or locate the databases required. The actual cause of the problem can be traced in the output of the Aware IM server. If we select View Server Output from the system menu, we will see the output of the server. In this example, a wrong port is specified for the SQL Server database. If you cannot interpret the message here, ask Aware IM support and send the contents of this window. Quite often though, the problem is straightforward and you can address it by changing the database settings in the Aware IM control panel. Select the Next Settings database, database from the from system, system menu, menu and change the database, change database settings in this dialog. In this particular case, this we have specified the wrong SQL Server port. It has to be port 1433. Sometimes though, the problem is related to an incorrect configuration of the database. For an example, in order for Aware IM to connect to the SQL Server database, the SQL Server should be set up to accept SQL Server authentication rather than Windows authentication only. It should also be configured to allow TCP IP connections. This is usually disabled by default and to enable it you need to start the SQL Server Configuration Manager. For details, see this article here. And another class of startup problems is problems related to a lack of memory. It is important to understand that Aware IM will not automatically use all the memory available on the machine where it is running. So even if your machine has plenty of free memory, you can run into memory problems. Each Aware IM component, such as 
the Aware I Am server, Tomcat and the configuration tool will only use as much memory as you allocate for them. Memory allocation can be changed if you select Settings General from the System menu. Here you can allocate memory to different Aware I Am components. Note that if you are running Aware I Am as a service, you need to change memory allocation elsewhere. Go to the Aware I Am bin directory and change memory for the Aware I Am server in these two files, Aware I Am conf and wrapper.conf. For Tomcat, change memory in the file tomcat.conf. If we open this file, we can see where we need to change memory in this line here. The amount of memory you allocate depends on the size and details of your applications. The more memory you allocate the better, but if total free memory of the machine is limited, then we recommend that you allocate most memory to the Aware I Am server. 512 meg for the server will run well for most applications, but larger applications may need 1 gig or more. 256 or 512 meg settings for Tomcat should be adequate for most applications, unless you have a huge number of concurrent users. The default setting of 64 meg for the configuration tool should be adequate for most applications. For very large ones, you may increase it up to 256 meg or more. How do you know if you have a memory problem? Well, if you have a crash, look at the output of every component by selecting the output of the component under the View menu. If you see the Out of Memory message there, then you need to increase memory allocation for this component. This is probably all about the common startup problems. If you have a different problem, please send a report to Aware I Am Support and attach the contents of the output window for each component.